Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Essential Podcast where we talk all things Jesus and honestly life. So, obviously we were off for a week. I ain't gonna lie, I needed a break. It was a little burnt out. Jonathan and I were kind of mad about that, so sorry, but we are back. Um, So, today we are having a very impromptu conversation. I, I think this is going to be Jonathan, Jonathan's therapy mm-hmm. session today, but we are going to be talking about relationships. Uh, relationships. We're going to be talking about love. We're going to talk, be talking about the cringiest thing in America, which is Christian dating. Uh, it, yeah. Um, well, it's not. It's not therapy. It's. It's. You know. It's true. It's ben, the truth. Yeah. It's the truth. Ben, like you know. Like, yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever truth. Ben, whatever, whatever, yeah. Whatever truth, truth you're talking about. Uh, so yeah. So this is going to be a very interesting and vulnerable conversation for my brother over here. But you know, as you know, you know, I feel like we have all like yeah, our bro. circle. We have three yeah, different specials. Yeah, I was about to say we that. We have the married one. Ah, the dating one okay. and the single one. <laughs> so hopefully it can go from dating to engaged to married, then married, married, engaged, and married, married, married. Or you then, might find someone and then you just Or you maybe find someone at Navri's wedding. Or after this podcast, you yeah. might just pop up. With a new oh, girl. Man, just... Actually, I kind of want Jonathan to be single because I feel like Jonathan's going to be the type of boy where like, he find a girl and then we would never see him again. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah, look, he's, yeah, he's the type to go in my head like, yo, oh, my uh, it's been like three weeks since, since we recorded. Yeah, yo, my bad. I'm like, bro. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. so um, before so before we get into that, Nairi, let's hear your like love story, bro. And then I'll tell mine. This and is, then... is going to be awkward. Yeah, no, no. Nah, nah. I mean, because I play an intricate part in your love story, thank, you know, thankfully. Oh, okay. And honestly, I think I play an intricate part in a lot of people's love stories. I think I'm the Christian version of, like, Cupid. You know what I'm saying? Um, I make things happen. Nickname you know what I'm saying? Lover, what was it, Lover Man? Yeah, I am the Lover Man. So, when you were younger. Uh, so, uh, Nairi, tell us your... From the your yeah, tell us your love, yeah. Your love story. Yeah, so um, my girlfriend, name, her name is Emily. Um, I love how it changed. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, his wife's name is Emily. It's about the well. same too, right? Spelled Spelled the same, same way, way, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Me and him been best friends since little kids. So little peons, yeah. And then to yeah. Um, but the way we came about it, um, one day I was just scrolling through. Um, well, I was already following followed to her on Instagram, and um. It was this thing I just kept telling everybody. I was just like for for two for two weeks straight. Um, I just kept telling my friends, I was like, man, like something's different about this girl. Like she's just like she just loves Jesus. Number one thing, she loves fitness. I was like, those are like two of my like top things of life. Um, and then one day after we all left the gym, I met I messaged her, sent three uh, the arm emoji like that. And uh, it was, you know, a wrap from there. And then took her out. And then from there, we've been dating, coming up on eight months. So, uh, loving my life and uh, planning to marry her. So, yeah, man, that's pretty quick, man. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm, talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm like six months. I can't even talk trash. No, no, but you and Emily. Yeah, were so, on... yeah, so we met, so we met during COVID. So yeah, so, so, so we met her on COVID. Um, you know, she wanted to talk to me because I'm that dude. I'm kidding. Um, I posted my favorite one of my favorite artists. Podcast. Huh? Can I have him on the podcast? Who? I, all the girl, all the women. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so I posted my favorite artist, right, Mark Barlow. You know yeah, is, right? it's Lobby Stone yeah. Show. Yeah. Really good guy. Capture. You capture my heart in ways I couldn't you know. capture. Capture. But yeah, so you know, so I posted that because I, I think it was like put your favorite word song. Of course, she comments, "What song is that?" Oh my god, it's so good. And then we just start. I started, you know, we started talking. And then the funny part was that Mark and she asked for my number, and I gave her my number. And then Mark Barlow had a Zoom concert, and I was like, Yo, "Yeah, I like, remember that." Yeah, let's let's watch the Zoom concert. So we watched the Zoom concert, <clears throat> and then you know, I spit my game to her easy, and then you know, um, I, I nah, cause I'm gonna. I'm gonna butcher it because I'm gonna tell it my way, and I'm just gonna gonna like like yeah, I always say it. 
So I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I spent my game to her. I mean, right, right now the only narrative that matters is yeah. Really Honestly, like, we'll get into Riz once we talk to him. I was gonna say because like you, I, I Riz rizzed her up. Riz. Yeah, I rizzed her up pretty wide. Well. Wait, I, what's Riz? Riz yeah, means like spitting games. Maybe it's like spitting games. Oh. Game. Yeah. I rizzed her up to a top notch level. Oh, like, so you, uh, like, you, you pressed on her? No, not pressed on her. Um, I mean, like, like so she. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds so. That does kind of sound. That sounds so. But you know, but you know, but you know what I mean. But I'm saying. And like you know, like I was like I spit that game, you know, and she was like, "Oh my god!" And so, uh, you know, I spit that game to her, and then I ended up driving because she lived two hours away. So I went down to go see, really two hours and forty. I went down to go see her, and I, I swear to you, bro, like I'm not making this up. The second she jumped in my arms, I was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm marrying this girl." I knew it. Like the first day we met, I knew it. So we, we broke up for a time, got back together, and then uh, we got married. Or we got engaged six months later. Wait, got married three months later. In, in 2020, you guys. We together and then you broke up. We broke up then, and then we got back yeah. together in 2020, like October. We, so, we started talking like September 2020. So what like rekindled the spark? Mm, I posted this video of me preaching, or not preaching, but a video of me speaking about something for youth group. Mm. Her and her friend, she ended up reposting it, then we started talking again, and then we we were, we were friends, whatever. So we went to... um. This orchard, remember, you remember? We went to this orchard. That was so yeah, so long. It feels like so long ago, yeah, right? And, it was like, and then we went to this orchard, and then we just. <clears throat> it wasn't that long ago, it was like last year. Two years ago. Two years ago. And then we started talking again. Yeah, our, our two years of being together was last Sunday, which is nuts to me because the longest relationship I had before Emily was six months. <laughs> but, anyway, so. Um, Good job. Man. Thanks. So we went to the orchard, we went to this orchard. And then we ended up talking. Then we, then we went on like an actual date the next time to, to the aquarium, the Baltimore Aquarium. And then we got dinner out in Baltimore as well. And then we started and we got back together October 31st of 2020. Then I proposed six months later. And then we got married like three months later. And I took your pictures. Yeah. And you did my photography, which I still, we have a lot of them framed up now. Yeah. Great day. And then, yeah, so we've been married ever since. I got a dog, cat, no kid yet. So. I just don't believe in love. Yeah, let's hear it. I, I don't know, man. Like, I just feel like uh, yeah, uh, being single, because I'm single. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Girls, they like to play games, you know? They have, like, like they just, it's like you kind of have to, like, read them in order to, like, know, hey, you know, if this is going to work out or not. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it just doesn't work for me. You just don't want to deal with the Yeah, exactly. The like, like I'm so, I'm so focused on me working on myself, improving myself, you know, working on areas that I know that needs to be worked on. And, and yeah, I mean, I just keep myself occupied, you know? And so when here's you, my question. When you, when you try to like talk to a girl, now you have to like sort of play this game. So then here's my question then. So if you say that, then why are you trying to talk, <laughs> trying to like talk to girls like right now? <laughs> If you say I'm focused on myself, then do that. Like, why? Well, are you... no, I mean, like, it, I mean, it, it gets to a point where it's like, like, especially if a girl shows interest, you know, you kind of, you know, right? you, you give them. You the follow it till it ends. To they follow the trail yeah, until it dies. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So okay. So let's let's let's. But like, let's how how like how committed should you be to like make something, something work? Yeah. I mean, I know there's there's people out there. Yeah. Because I feel like we have two different. Like me and Delvi have two different ways of yeah. approaching well, it. For me, I, I mean, I was single for the longest time. Like, but I mean, I play sports, so I kind of didn't really have time for no relationship. Cause no you college. you were single all of college. Yeah, I was single years, all right? of college. Like, really I mean, five years. Now, yeah, so really I, six years. <laughs> you yeah, were single for a minute. It was, it was single for a long time. So, I mean, I, I took that time to <laughs> do the same thing, but but like, like but so like I think that for. See, women, like, I feel like dating for a Christian man is such a, like... Honestly, look, I want to just be straight up. I don't just look for Christians. I just talk to anybody. Yeah, that's nuts. Um, but How I, is that nuts, though? That. How that, is that that's nuts? That's crazy. Hold on, wait, wait. Hold on, let me move this. Wow. How is that nuts? I think that is nuts. Well, you can answer that. Why you think that's nuts? Um, Dating someone that you're not equally ill to is, is tough. Because, like... Yeah. The entire time you date them, you're constantly in this battle of like, I believe this, and this is your that, whole way. But, of missionary dating like, doesn't but, work. But yeah. that's why you don't rush into those topics. You you slowly build rapport to where it gets to that, you know, conversation. 
Yeah, but it also depends on the places that you're looking to. Like, I feel like you're just random. Like, 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 because I know for me personally, right? Because 99% of the time, the girl's going to come to you. You're not going to come to them. I think that happens for a lot of men. Like, I think a lot of times when we force it, it doesn't work. And I think yeah. that when, at least for the men that surrounded in my circle, like, I'll take him. Like, I mean, he didn't really make the first move. Emily jumped on him. Like, no, I did. I, yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah. 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 No, but I'm saying, like, she made the bold but, move, though. Like, yeah, well, like, yeah, I made, like, Emily I, did the same with me. Like, I Emily hit it. me up, bro. Yeah. Like, and then she, like, she just said YOLO and just yeah, went after it. Like, like even, like, with Josh and Maria, Maria, like, hit him up. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think no, that. But, 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 Josh, like, but you got to understand, like, each one of you guys created the bait, I guess. You know, like, yes. there was, there was but, something. But do you know, but, like, but, but this is the thing, bro. It's like, so at least my approach when I was single, this is my approach. I'm not saying it's the right approach. This I'm gonna tell you my approach. My approach when I was single, and Emily hates me for this, and she she'll never understand. But my thing was, you know, I want to understand a woman's mind. So what am I going to do? I just befriended a bunch of females. <laughs> like you know, and I knew this was going. There was no making out, no kissing, never smashing, wait, 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 none wait. of that. Wait, what do you mean be friendly? Like you just, just, just cool, just, just cool. cool. Yeah, so like, uh, so you just talk to females. yeah. So like, I'll, I'll have female wow. friends, but any I'll, female, not just Christian females. Well, <laughs> most of them were Christians, yeah. But like, if they weren't a Christian, it would be like someone that I knew for a long time. Like it was. It's not like I'm but, like I'm not like randomly meeting females, but like. It's just females that I know. Like I'm like, yo, like yeah. let's let's hang out. Let's go grab something to eat. And I think we're. So I think I think as far as like, wait, they were fine with you just grabbing something to eat with them without it being considered as a date. Yeah, because um, yeah, because like yeah, if you if you set that boundary, like, hey, like we just cool, like okay. it's just like like we just hanging out. Yeah. Like I'm not trying to bag you at all. Like I'm not trying to date you. We just cool. And I mean, I had a, a lot of I had a lot of healthy like relationships from that. Not dating relationships, but friendships. I was gonna say so, dating. Like I think the my emphasis is dating. Like if you're trying to date someone that isn't a Christian, it's it's like it's tough. Cause like if you're gonna have one set of values and someone has a whole other set yeah. of values, like it, it's yeah. it's just gonna like. Well, not, yeah, it's yeah. not going to stretch because you out, yeah, because because personally, for, like for me, like when when I was talking to like. A woman, and you're gonna hear a lot of for me a lot in this podcast because we're telling our POVs. Yeah. But I know that when I would talk to a woman, if they told me that they weren't a Christian, that automatically says, okay, like I'm not dating that's you at all. Terminal. So like this is a friend, like that's it. Like so I'm you, not. You don't even like. I'm not even gonna try to bag you. You don't like, even it's like. Not, it's not worth it. You don't even like. No. I, I just feel like that's cold though. But I've like, dated, but like I, I but it's because <laughs> I've been in past situations where I dated women who aren't believers, and it never ends well. For and from my opinion, the only Christian, the only person that I've seen it work for is my mom and dad. My mom was not a Christian when she met my dad. She gave her life to Christ with my dad. That's the only couple I've ever seen it work for my life. Not saying that it doesn't work, you know. Yeah. Like there are a lot of married couples that one's a Christian, one the other's not. Is, but one person like that is um, their life is given to Christ, and the others not. Like the one person that is uh, their life is given to Christ, they usually like bring themselves down like to the person that isn't saved I'm not yeah. saying like you can, it's not like it's not impossible but i'm saying like in yeah. most cases like they have like this whole worldly like mindset and you try to like bring yourself down to like worldly standards yeah. just to please the relationship or they're just unhappy because they don't they don't understand, understand. like what you're doing because like yeah. i know like i dated this uh the one chick host doesn't watch the podcast but uh but they basically i was abstinent obviously and she was not so it caused a lot of riff in our relationships so and, you mean like um like like drinking like, like sex like oh. I, I i'm not i wasn't having sex and she <laughs> one wanted to but like it caused for us not to like to like break up because i wasn't trying to do that you know what i mean and that's and those are the like i guess it can get to that deep point but there would be moments where i was tempted to do it because she's like it's there like you know what i mean like it's like mm -hmm. so like it's it's a, it's a twisted kind of like bag when when it comes to dealing with women that aren't saved versus women that are you you want to go with someone that as i never said that matches your value system but it goes even deeper than that because there are even christian women that don't match the the volume system of the christian yeah man. yeah and that's even worse in my that's opinion. harder yeah it's not worse but it's harder yeah well that's why it's worse though because they know from right to wrong, and yet you can't even tell them. Yeah. Whereas well, somebody I'm not. Either. I'm not even talking about values now. Okay. I'm talking deeper than that. So you guys might have the same value system, but the personality, the personality level, 
is different. So like I've I've dated Christian women, right? To where like they are legit weird, like, and I'm not being mean. They are legit weird, like, like I'm not even allowed to hug you. Oh. Like I'm not yeah, even allowed like to hold your hand. Like ideologies can, of yeah. like Christian. Yeah. <clears throat> like you yeah, like your intimacy levels are just like different. I'm not talking about like on a sexual level, I mean just as far as like Who is this? Who? Yeah, you would think you couldn't hug. I I cannot name anyone, but, okay, I, I, yeah. but yeah, I, I mean like as far as like holding hands, yeah. hugging, like and, and, and it happens I because mean, in like in guys like what and, and what we are trying to do right now is kind of break the groundwork, then we'll dig deeper into like yeah. marriage and all that. But for right now we're just talking about just the whole just stage of when I first see someone and I'm getting to um, know them because honestly, Christian dating is this right. I want I need to find someone who number one believes that the same thing that I do. Mm -hmm. That's first. Next is okay. We need to darn near agree on almost every single thing on a personality standpoint. So like me, and Emily had to kind of sit down and say, okay, where do we side on these certain things? I just don't, you know, and, and, just... and no, no, but like, and, and, you know, and yes, me, and Emily disagreed on things and, you know, I had to kind of compromise with her. No, nothing is compromising <clears throat> my faith now, but I'm talking about like personality stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure you had to compromise with some things on well, Emily I, as well. My, but... my, well, my opinion is like, I, I think it, um, I think it takes longer to, um, not longer, but if you're going to date someone, like it, it takes getting to know them. Right, yeah. 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 yeah, but isn't, like, because I feel like that whole, like, I get it, like, finding a, someone who's Christian, it, it just makes it easier, but, like, God, I was going to be, I was going to say the word love, um, but, like, doesn't love, like, like, love, if, if you really, like, love someone, that person is, will be willing to, like, you know. That's not true. You don't think so? Not true for all circumstances because I do think that like the person would be willing to to convert or like you know consider your faith if they really love you. Yeah, but why would you? Yeah, but why would? And this is my opinion. Why would you? But like, if they don't understand true love, what makes you think they understand love? Because true love is only oh, found yeah. in Jesus Christ. So how do you expect someone who doesn't know what true love is, which is love through all circumstances, which is the the, the love of Jesus, if they can't? They but, can't oh, understand that love. How that, they love that, you? That's why you, you know, you you, you show that. Yes, you but just, yes, but dating is not event. Like you're not supposed to be evangelizing while dating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're like dating isn't the like, isn't the ground for evangelism. Yeah, if that was the case, so. if that was the case, I would have like we 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 all have a thousand wives right now. You know, like that's not. That's, no, that's that's what I'm trying to go yeah, for, yeah, man. I Solomon. Think, I think no, to Solomon I'm was an idiot. I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. I think that um, two people who faith, um, who believe in Jesus, like what happens is like, um, as compared to unequally yoked, is when you do find someone um, you are equally yoked. The thing that will happen is your faith can, like, grow. Like you guys can walk together as far as like you can meet at one point, and then you'll meet here together, and then you you grow together. Right. So you grow and you walk. Yeah. I'm just willing to. Take the challenge, you know. Like, yeah, I'm but there, to do but that. there's a difference between a challenge and stupidity. And I think you're walking in stupidity. <laughs> well, but... have you seen that post where it says curiosity is? I mean, not curiosity. Courage is doing something bold, knowing that um, you get you fall. And stupidity is the same thing. Yeah, you but know? I, I think you're thinking too highly of yourself, and I think it's prideful that you're thinking this. <laughs> and this is why, because okay. <laughs> because as spiritual as I think you are, um, and as you know. As much as I think you display like what a kingdom man is, you agree. You think Jonathan displays Absolutely. a man of God, Absolutely. God, man of God. <laughs> I do think Absolutely. that you will be affected in a really bad way if you were to date someone that's not a, 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 of the faith, as we all are. You know, even me, like I like. So, so, so what you're saying is you think it's prideful for me to challenge my faith to where I'm willing yes, to step because outside. I, cause, because, cause, cause, you're because you're going to have to compromise your yeah. faith in a way. And, and that's the reality that people don't understand. 99% of the time when a non-Christian is dating a Christian, the Christian usually so has tested their way. So let me get this. Leave yourself so exactly. let me get this straight. So you don't believe in that sometimes you need to compromise your faith in order to reach out? You don't think that's No, a, I, don't, I don't agree with tactic? that. I've never compromised my, my faith to reach out to anyone. But what about, uh, 
you know, like, what about, like, the holidays and stuff? I mean, we compromise oh it all God, the time. We do. We it's do. Not, it is, it yeah, is not, 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 not compromise. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But time out. Like, let's go, let's rewind the clock. The oh, Romans. Hold on, let's go. Hold on, hold on, Halloween. Okay, look, just hear me out, all right? Just hear me out. So, we're going to rewind the clock. The Romans, right? They saw this pagan holiday. The people are decorating trees and stuff. And they're like, you know what? It's a popular holiday. Let's instead use that holiday to, you know, show the birth of Christ. Like, that's kind of compromising because that holiday didn't represent anything about Christ. But yet they did it because it reached more people and, and you know, brought them more. That doesn't awareness. mean that they're compromising what they believe in. But that means they, that they didn't compromise. But it, still, mean, it, just, it, it means that they are taking something that was done mm -hmm. for evil and they're, and, they're, and, they're, and they're using it for good. That, that, that's the whole point. And now they're celebrating something that mattered, which is the birth of Christ. How can you do that in a relationship with someone that's that's not, not a Christian? That makes no sense, bro. For your own self. For yourself. For yourself. Because, bro, like the, the reality is, is that like what you're around is what you'll become. So, like, regardless of what, what you're gonna do, and, and I'm not saying. And by the way, Christians, don't think that you guys are in the clear. You guys got mad baggage that, that we're gonna be coming at y'all about in the next five minutes. But what? But what? I'm, but oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We got yeah. Don't well, worry, Christians. We got smoke for y'all. That's another good point, though. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, you wanna go ahead? Yeah, but on. like. For a non-Christian, like, you also got to think about this. Like, when you guys have issues and problems, you're running to Jesus. Ooh, yeah. Where are they running to? Let's talk about their friends. Like, we're not even talk talk talking about friend friends. Group. Yeah. The friend groups. The yeah. parents, like. Oh, God. Whatever. Think about the parents. The, like, think about the mom. What <clears throat> the mom. You, you've been. We, 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 we both. You've been just, but when you're dating someone that's not a believer and their mom is just, or dad is just tripping. Like, it's, it's a whole crap show when you're. Like that's why faith is the number one like flying yeah, and, for me. And don't like don't get me wrong, like um when you meet someone like of course they're like, they're gonna have a past or have some sort of like like even being saved, but like like Steve said, like when you have your problem like you're not going to like point the finger at each other. But like when you're getting there, you're like you're gonna you're gonna go to G like together, like their relationship is like held by like Jesus. But there's this whole thing where we've even had this convo like dating never really existed in the Bible. Oh, yeah, that's true. yeah like, dating is a it's a it's an added modern, thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. Because I do believe that because and th this is why I believe that dating is stupid. Number one, I do think that dating is dumb because and I'm married, so yeah, how do you choose? I'm your married, mate? so you all can shut up. Okay, this is what I believe. I thought I knew Emily until we got married. He's going to meet a whole new person when they get married. I met a whole new Emily. She met a whole new... Like, you don't really know who someone is until you actually live with them. So, honestly, like, you're really just meeting the, the buttered up version of someone until you really get married and you live with them and you see all the parts of them. You know what I mean? That's at least how I feel. But what were you saying? So, what I was going to say <laughs> is... You know, the whole concept of marriage and, like, that's, regardless if you're a Christian or not, it, 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 it's a Christian root. Marriage is a Christian root by default. So when you, when the, when the pastor, when the priest is saying, um, well, you guys, till, till death do us apart, like, that's already commitment in definition. You know, so I feel like the world knows what love is. They already understand the concept of it. It's just, you know, you just have to. I don't agree. You just have to sort of help agree. them see it. I don't agree. You don't. You don't agree. No, because I believe that there's a human love that a parent gets when they have a child, and I feel like, and for me personally, like. But it's all the same. It's all committed. Like a, no. a, a, a parent loving their son, the parent has to be committed to the son. That's that's why there's a lot of, you know, unfortunate... But do like, you but do you think that, but do you think that, like, because I also believe that, like, there's a, like, a such thing as, like, a, um, like, a spiritual attraction, I guess you can say. But that's feeling. Now, now you're is resorting it, to feelings. How is that a feeling? Because you just said it's spiritual attraction. That's yes, but... Yeah, but my yeah, but I'm always spiritually attracted to Emily. It's not based on a feeling. It's just who she is. I love that about them, you know? So what you're saying is you, you observe how she 
boxing guy. And yes, like that. Like, like, like I feel like for someone that's married, like at least for me, it's it's a big attraction to why I love her. Is is because I see how she walks as a human being in like as, as abiding as a Christian in Jesus, bro. I just personally believe that Christian dating yeah. you as a person. Bro. Exactly, bro. Yeah, it You're you. like. If if the goal to be a follower of Jesus, right, is obviously to get people to know him, but we're, we're, but we're talking about personal. If the goal is spiritual for formation, right, to be formed into Christ, how in the Hello Kitty is a person not that? How in if your wife is supposed to be a part of you, how are you going to sharpen yourself when your significant other doesn't know the word? Doesn't know Jesus? Like, well, it's like it's like Jesus in the church. I mean, like. The church is always backsliding and going against Jesus, but yet Jesus is always, you know, he, he doesn't give up. But what's the caveat? Is that they already b believe in him, and that's why well, yeah. he can do that. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, like you can't date banking that that they'll <laughs> that they'll become a Christian. You but that, but that's but that's why you find someone who's willing. Like, as long as the person is willing to like. But why do you need someone that's willing when you can find someone that already loves them? Because it just doesn't always work. And now, and and and, so now, you saying, and now you're putting yourself in a box. Are you saying this because like? Is Am it, I really though? Go ahead. Is this something that you want because it's like a challenge to to <laughs> like? Is it's no? It's my honest thought process. Like this is how I think. Like you see, we like this. Like, but just because it's how you think, it doesn't mean that's what God's going to actually I, bring into your life. I know it's uh, okay. I know. I know. There's the um, the whole unequal yoke. <laughs> verse that people throw and stuff and i get it but but like it's i i still don't think you can you should limit yourself like you shouldn't just look for individuals that are exclusive in church or stuff like that i think if the person is willing to love you and willing to commit to a relationship you should be open to give that a try I yeah, well, we ha yeah. let me say this because I'm I'm gonna be frank. Like, if you're dating someone that doesn't know Jesus, bro, like they're like, and it, I, I'm not saying like it's not impossible to get thought, but bro, like <laughs> that person's nine times out of ten gonna ride off emotion, bro. Like their their love to you is gonna be based off of their emotions. So if it's go if it's going bad in your relationship and I mean, your problems aren't being gone to Jesus, bro. It's like, it. Like, can I ask a question? Yeah. So, do you guys believe in the one? No. You don't believe in that. No, I easily believe I that do. it could have been someone else. Like, honestly, I do. Like, I as much as I love Emily, and that's my wife, and I wouldn't trade her for anyone. Um, I do believe that if things were like were to go another way, I would. I don't think I'll, I might not be married now, but I would find someone else. Like. I don't, it's the same way as to like, if I didn't choose to, if I didn't like, if I didn't accept the calling to be a pastor, I would have been called somewhere to, to something else. Like, I don't, I don't think. So you don't believe in destiny? Like, this is, this is your destiny. This is what you have to do. No, I don't think the Bible even talks about that. I don't, like, I don't think. Well, the, Jesus had a, he was going to die. From well, the Jesus, yes. Okay. He doesn't <clears throat> count. Okay. Because he's, he's like on another playing field, but. I'm talking like, if if David didn't want to be king, God would have just chose someone else. Well, that's what happened. King Solomon was originally the king. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Person. Like, I mean, think about Saul. Saul was supposed to be the guy. Uh, yeah, King Saul. Yeah. And what happened? Saul wasn't. So God's like, all right, cool. I'll choose David. Yeah. Was that supposed to happen? No. Adam and Eve. We weren't supposed to be in sin right now. But what happened? They made their own decision. So no. They put us here. Yeah, I believe that we, we can make our own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Adam and Eve. Appreciate it. But you know, um, but like we could, I mean, like at the end of the day, we make our own decisions. So I don't believe in A1. That, like, well, that, I believe I, I chose. No, yeah. And I, yeah. I, I believe that. I don't, I don't believe in the whole, the one either. I feel like that sort of mindset just isn't healthy. Yeah. Now I'm not using that as an excuse to cheat on my wife or find another no. woman. No, you're, I'm you're context really because, it. Yeah. It's just people love the context. Yeah. Then. So I'm just trying to, cause for the context benders, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that, <clears throat> like, let's say, like, me and Emily broke up during the dating process. Okay, I would have married someone else. Like, yeah, you're not going to dwell on it and be like, yeah. oh, God, God, this is the one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. I do, but like, I did, and, not, and I would tell you, didn't, I did have hope that me and her were going to get back together because I knew that, like, that was the woman that I wanted to marry, you know? 
Like, I believe that we make a decision to, for the people that we love. I don't think God makes that decision for us. Because if I was to marry someone that wasn't saved, God did not make that, that, that decision I am. You know? And uh, I do believe that, you know, uh, I'll start verse in Proverbs. Um, frick, I'm trying to think of it. A man uh, plans his way, but the Lord uh, establishes his steps. Yeah. God establishes those steps. But, but, but what is the verse? But what does it say before that? A man plans his way. So as I'm planning my way, as I'm making plans for my life, God is establishing that, that, that establishing those things. But sometimes we don't listen, <laughs> you know. So I don't, yeah. I don't know. Because I mean, I'm not saying it's not. You know, God has affirmed that 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 I'm always like the one f uh, for me in this life. But what if I didn't listen to God and went another way? I don't think. I think like I would have found someone else. How, yeah. how does Emily feel about that? She probably disagrees, but. Got it. Yeah. What? Um. Go ahead, Ivy. I'm sorry. No, you want to ask me something first? Yeah, I. I just don't. What was I gonna say? I I just don't fully. I guess. Embrace the idea of just um. Like, like you can date outside. I just don't see, I don't, I just don't think that's a, so am I wrong? Okay, so that's the question. So am I wrong for, for thinking this way? Thinking that, no. that I can, you know, potentially date someone outside of Christian yeah. faith and. It's your choice. Yes. Well, so you think I'm wrong? I believe you're wrong, 100%. There, like I said, there it's, there's cases of it, but it's like. The, the, Rare. The, yeah, the, 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 self, the stuff that you got to put yourself through just to sustain it and like to get it where you're gonna want it to be like as if you're thinking about marrying them like you're just yeah like, i also don't think it's fair you? i also don't think it's fair to them i also don't think it's fair to you because for you someone who's very mature in the face you would easily get unattractive to someone who's not a christian i know i know you like you what, would, that i will get attracted I will, but unattracted i don't want to read like you gonna be like oh, let's, let's read let's open our ball let's let's listen to worship let's play a song you, you love playing i just whack i don't want to hear it like, what like why are you playing this like I, I don't like this music like let me throw yeah on. and we are more like out what? there than you like you know what i mean like like we've been out there you haven't necessarily been out there so i don't even like like you don't you don't know what you're like saying right now like what you're saying is kind of crazy <laughs> um but also you also got to take into but, but not hold, hold on but you also got to take this into effect. And this is what kind of convicted me that someone brought up to me when I was dating that, that girl that was outside of the faith. Is that... What do you mean? No, okay. you I'm, joking. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm um, joking. But you can know, give me a trouble. Yeah. But uh, the other thing is, is that like, what if... Because like, then if you're evangelizing for, for them to get saved, there are some people who don't believe in God, but just did it just to get them off their uh. back. Yeah. Uh, so like it's just kind of like yeah, like yeah, I'm gonna like just, just do this yeah. just to shut you up, and then yeah. so then and then you'll be fine. So like, not to mention there there's a lot of conversions that aren't true. Yeah. You know because they got forced into it emotionally, and mm -hmm. and sometimes we can inadvertently force someone yeah. to become a Christian. You gotta let them. It's not it fair. Themselves. You know you gotta let them like figure it out yeah. on their own. And for us, and, 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 yeah. So what? So basically, what you're saying is. I need to go to First Baptist Church or the other church that Glenn goes to, or like just go to like different churches and just not like necessarily. Find I mean, I met Emily through you met Emily. Through so make it so so make a Tinder, <sighs> a Christian mingle. Kind of. I don't believe in the in that. No, God will bring you the right woman when it's time. I don't time. believe that. God will bring you. God. God will bring <laughs> woman. Believe. God will bring woman in your life, and and what you need to do is you need to keep working on yourself and keep grinding. And someone will organically come into your life, yeah. and and then you make the decision then, but, to choose them but, or not. But what if they're not Christian? Like that's what I'm saying. Like what if, what if that person that just like oh you know interested? I don't believe just God. Don't have a Christian background. Just, I don't believe God's going to put a non-Christian for you to bag in your life. In my opinion, the only reason that would happen is if you did that. But like I feel like you're limiting what God right, can so, do. All right, let's. I'm not limited level though, bro. Yeah. So, are you playing that kids? Yeah. All right. So, do you want your, do you want your kids to be raised by someone that like? You get, know, oh wait, no. But he's saying that the person's open to the faith. But what I'm trying to tell him is that just because the person's open, it doesn't mean that they're going to like. You can be open to something and not like, a hundred percent like convert. So if they don't convert, are you just going to dump them? Because then you're wasting your time when you could be with someone who's already converted. <laughs> 
like this is all going. Yo, on. yeah, we're right. overthinking it, bro. I'm not like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I just. Uh, You're yeah. trying to like give from a different. You were yeah, funny. You were yeah, funny. Trying to. <laughs> I, I just want to challenge your thoughts. You know, I really want to uh, see like where you guys yeah. stand. Yeah, I'm not. Like, I, I, mean, I respect it. I mean, it's I like, mean, yeah, you feel like, I mean, the, the thought run by your mind, but then you just, like, <laughs> like it's not if I thought that, it. I would feel it. It's just dumb. that, you know, there's that, there's that thought, there's that, like, oh, you know, there's plenty of fishes in the sea, but is there, like, I, I, gotta, I, powerful, gotta, bro. I gotta make sure that they're Christian. So, like, what do you do? Do you just, go, do you just go up to a girl and be like, hey, my name is Jonathan, are you Christian? Like, what's <laughs> like, no, <laughs> like, no, how do you, no. How do you do it? Like, because, I mean, bro, like, like it's just, usually, like, I think nowadays, like, meeting girls, like, like, an instant is usually not the way, like, people are getting bagged <laughs> nowadays. But, uh, it's still, but it's still a way to, but like, you, 99% of the time, you're you're going to know a girl's a Christian before. And if not, you just say, yo, like, so, like, are you a Christian? Just, but, like, you get that, but, like, so, like, so, let's say, right, you were, you, you, you were, you were to walk up to a girl, say, hey, my name is Jonathan, blah, 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 and then somewhere in your conversation church is going to come up because that's just who you are or christ or god yeah and then so, by saying yeah. that you'll know but like by the way they respond you know what i mean like i just think that you know because when me and emily got together she wasn't like who she is now she wasn't like i don't think she was practicing the ways of jesus she wasn't, the, yeah i was gonna the, say the that she, she, she wasn't she wasn't like christian was she? she was a christian but she wasn't like like she wasn't really like into it yeah. deep Oh okay, yeah, she's a P. She's a P. She was a PK. No, she wasn't. Oh. Uh, but what ended up happening was we ended up breaking up, and she ended up finding out who God was for herself on her own, bro. Not through my faith, but through hers. And then when we got back together the second time, you could tell she's more independent in her own faith, reading the Bible on her own, praying on her own, going to small groups and all that stuff. You know what I mean? But like, it takes. But like, you need a woman that's strong enough to be able to, to do that herself, because what what's going to happen is you're going to drain yourself trying to be. The spiritual fountain for for mm-hmm. someone and that's not our job our job as men isn't isn't to be a fountain to the woman the job is to be a co-leader with the, the woman because you're going to pour into her and she's going to pour into you so the, and then you pour into your yeah. children that that's the way it's supposed to work you are the that's leader true. that's what i was trying to say yeah earlier. you are the leader but it's a partnership kids. it's a partnership you like emily pours into me and i pour into her you know what i mean that's the way the marriage is that i make the final decisions in our marriage and you, I, I know you do in your relationship, <clears throat> whoever. But at the end of the day, like I don't, I don't, like, I don't know. You're, if, you're, you're not going to. No, no, no. Don't, don't talk. I don't wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Bro, you're bro, not going I to be something. full. I got. You're not going to be full. I got <laughs> oh my god! I, got, I saw you think. I got so My god. You know, that looks like, that looks like the Nazi. Yo, we need Pastor Mike in here, bro. I wish no, Pastor wait, Mike was here right now. Let me say because something. Because he would shut you down. Let me say something. Is he off of work yet? Oh, my call. This is not Pastor. fair. No, stop. Right, go, this go, is, go, this go. is our podcast. Go, 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 go. He can, you know. What's um, up? So, but the, you know, the, the Bible says, you know, <clears throat> husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And Christ gave his life like he literally like gave his all for the church you know so like it's uh, i mean yeah you know like yeah you know the, the husband and wife like it's a you know it's a, it's a partner thing but ultimately the husband should be willing to sacrifice everything for his wife what does that got to do with you dating someone outside yeah, the so, no but like what i'm what i'm trying to say no, wait say, wait wait, wait okay, but okay. What, I, what i'm saying is like it just comes it just comes back to the you know to to what love is like if the person really loves you you see that you make it work you know regardless of what religion or faith you you just make it work where um i guess where is your expectation of finding <clears throat> Cause you mentioned church, like stop laughing. He's trying to ask me a question. That's, I mean, that's where like ahead, bro. I guess like, what is your expectation? Like, do you do you think it's specifically just church or like? I I don't really see it in church. You know, like I, I just because I mean, for me, like it was like it wasn't anything. Like it wasn't met at a church. Like I just. Like message her and and then we contacted and then like from there like when we first met like everything was basically number one just jesus from the start like testimony testimony and then like i go here you go here and then you just organically like you just go from there i guess my thing is like the world is really big 
and there's a lot of interesting people and there's a lot of different cultures and a lot of different religion mm -hmm. i mean you're not going to find a middle eastern that's that's christian like that's that's a rare breed like if you do find one like lucky for you but that's it is hard to find because you know they're, they're, they have strict cultures so it's like if you really want to like it, like i guess see the world and you know meet people and then potentially find a romantic <clears throat> like a, a significant other like the chances of them being christian is just not going to always be likely you know, if you're constantly expanding, I, I guess your your circle. I disagree. Yeah, I I I I, 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 I disagree with everything you're saying, honestly, John. I, I don't. I mean, I don't. In this episode, I'm not looking for you guys to agree. I'm just saying. No, I'm just letting you know that you're you're wrong. No, I mean, okay. like, he's not wrong. everybody in the world you're going. To be <clears> he's wrong. wrong. No, 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 Jonathan is wrong. No, no, no I'm bro. saying like in general, like everybody in the you're world wrong. you're <laughs> going to meet isn't going to believe yes in Jesus, but like. I think as far as it pertains to love, like, or dating someone. Like, I mean, the thing is, like, you didn't meet a Christian, but, like, I mean, they can also not be, you know, like you said, fully converted or, like, actually walking the faith. They can just go to church. That's, that's, why, listen, you listen, listen, that's, why, that's why you wouldn't date somebody listen, like listen that. Listen to Christian music. Yeah, that's why you wouldn't date you know, somebody like that. But, like, they don't really... That's why you wouldn't date somebody like that. Know, but, like, how would you know that, you though? Get, By getting know. to know them. Yeah. What are you talking about? They're still, like... There still can be a process of like knowing the person. Yeah, that's why you go out like, on dates. Like, like, like yeah. you're not automatically officially boyfriend and girlfriend. You go on yeah. dates. You, you, but you get to know her and then yeah. you make your unless, decision. Unless you like, like for my case, like I just instantly knew I was like, man, she's yeah. And not to mention, there's a Holy Spirit that also works in your life, like yeah. that gives you intuition, you. prayer. And, yeah. Like you can Galatians pray. five, bro. <laughs> Read freaking yeah. Galatians five, man. Like I'm about to read it right now because you're just I know. Just, I mean, just even pray, right. like even praying for your like. For yeah. something other wife, like yeah, are I you did. praying for love? No, he ain't, he ain't praying for love. He ain't, he ain't praying for love. I might be praying for love. <laughs> might not be praying for love. I mean. All right, oh, it, it popped up. That's how you know. That's how you know God is talking. Galatians five. This is from Paul, living by the Holy Spirit's power. Okay, so I say to you, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants you to do evil, and I'm going to make that the sinful nature wants you to. I'm kidding. <laughs> The sinful nature wants you to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the spirit wants. And the spirit gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. But when you are de when you are directed by the spirit, you are not under the obligation to the law of Moses. When you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. But I'm um, sexual immorality, impurity, <laughs> lustful pleasures, idolatry. Sorcery, you're a sorcerer, I'm kidding. Hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outburst of anger, selfishness, ambition, <laughs> dissension, right, look, put, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties. No, I'm not done. And other wild stuff like these. Parties? Let me I tell party. you again, okay. Okay. as I had before, that anyone, oh, by the way, I'm reading verse, I'm not saying this, <laughs> that living the sort of life that will not inherit the kingdom of God, but... The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit of all of our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against you. Think, all right, this is the last three verses I'm going to read. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions of and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucify them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. Okay? So let's talk about this. Uh, yeah, let's talk if about If you it. are finding a woman in this world, right? <laughs> this, they need that... to have the Holy Spirit, okay? The Holy Spirit lives inside each and every one of us, right? So, for those who received, yes. Aren't you going to look at the fruit before you even want to consider being with them? But if they are not a Christian, how are you going to date them when they don't show any fruit? I don't wait, man. Can a non Christian have fruit? You tell me that is your true Pastor, question. Pastor Steve. Pastor Steve. All right. You're kind of like, yes, that's a lot. There's a lot there. It's not the back there. Um, no, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to like, 
sexual immorality or anything. Like, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, no. A lot of this would, 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 would just to kind of like I know, troll you. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, but I am. But but sorry. Hearing that, like, I guess my question is like, how will you be with someone <clears throat> if they're not holding you like accountable? Yeah, accountable. like, don't you want a yeah. woman? So that's that why I have you that, guys. I'm not your girlfriend. Bro. No, I know you're not, but like, <laughs> don't you want someone that's gonna like push you to be better like <laughs> like is it like your number one this thing is not yeah. like your <laughs> number one thing and i'm sure in all three of us is jesus number but three. like how, this is the how what are we talking about right? like how like better can you get as a christian like once you receive jesus like oh my you're God, John. reading bible Yo, again you're really know, digging your own oh, to seem right <laughs> I don't know. Cause like, what are you saying right now? Do you, you, right no, 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 you want to go through it? All right. <laughs> Bro. All right, all right, all right. If you are a Christian, you but, need to be equally yoked, period. And, Jonathan, okay, listen to me, bro. They, like, if, if everyone's a Christian, you are the number one fruit inspector, number one, which shocks me while you're, while you have this crazy point of view. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro's always saying on a podcast, that you're going to inspect the fruit, bro, inspect the fruit. But you don't want to inspect but, the but, fruit but, when but, you but, find but, a woman that's not wait, a Christian. Wait, but it's different when you are a Christian. Yeah, you inspect fruits and stuff. But like somebody who is outside, you, you can't, again, you can't hold that same standard. Exactly. So, so why would you date someone wait. that doesn't hold your standard? I'm not saying date somebody. Like I said, like I said, like if the, if, I don't even want to say anything. Go, talk, it, it talk. <laughs> talk, talk. Talk, talk. Now say it, man. Let's go. <laughs> I don't have the energy. I mean, you guys, you guys won, all right? You guys won. There you go. So say we're right. Not, right. Not, 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 say we're right. Not say we're right. Bro, we're not trying to, like, win, bro. We're yeah, we're not trying to, like, to win. We're, we're just trying to, like, have... tell you what's right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what's right is that you need to date a Christian. If you come here with a non-Christian, I'm going to say go. Just go away. Just get out. But then how you... T- but then I'm again, kidding. Like, I, I'm kidding. I, I, I wouldn't do that, but I'll be very disappointed. Well, if I dated a non-Christian? Yeah. I mean, I mean, but yeah, me, your own man, make our choices. But it just doesn't sound smart to me. Like, it's the same way if, like, I if I want to be if I want to be a bodybuilder, I'm not gonna marry a fat chick. I mean, that sounds wrong. Oh my god! Nah, I'm not cutting that. Oh god, that sounded wrong. Um, uh, I, I want to see my. Right no, now. I mean like that kind of. <laughs> wait, wait, your analogy. <laughs> what get canceled? Your analogy. <laughs> how are we gonna get canceled? That I mean, it makes uh, sense. No, no, no. I forgot. I forgot this was a Christian podcast. <laughs> your, for a moment, analo- right? your analogy makes sense. Oh now. my! But yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Let, 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 let me rephrase it. Okay, let me rephrase it. Okay, okay. If I'm gonna be a bodybuilder, right? I'm not gonna marry a girl that doesn't bodybuild. You know, or I'm not going to surround myself around people that don't bodybuild. If like the same way, it's like if if I if you if you are striving after something, you want to okay. find someone I, that I, you want to find someone I, that equally has no bodies. Wait, 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 I get it. You can't you can't change somebody. Yeah, they have to they, they have to they have to want to change for for God and themselves. Go ahead, Naomi. The point I was going to jump to was the, let's let's take the like their friend group and then let's. And then let's talk about like our friend group, right? Like us right here as brothers, right? What what do we do? Like every time we're with each other, we talk, we we talk about our lives, we talk about our story, we talk about testimonies, what we've been through, right? And we we there for each other, we support each other, and then we talk about Jesus, right? So it's <clears> like, how is that going to happen if like you're with someone that doesn't even have that conversation, or like their friend group don't even like? Think or talk like that. Well, you know, um, that, that's why you you just I guess slowly water the uh, the seed. Is it your is that your job? No, it's not. Well, no, that's it's not, not your job. job. Your your job is it your, your job to save them or is it God's job? No, no, no. Your job is to plant the seed, and God, it, it, it has to be the exactly. Water. So now we see where you're wrong because you think you got to water the seed. You can't water the seed. You can't. No, yeah, you can't. They have, they have to choose God, not because of you. And that I, I think that's that the, the the main reason why I wouldn't date a woman that that is not a faith is because I would feel very bad knowing that the read that I'm the reason why they're following Jesus. I don't want to be the reason why someone's following Jesus. I want Jesus to be the reason why they're following Jesus. Well, I mean, but you can be a gateway. 
you know, similar to how Pastor Paul said, be followers of me because I'm a follower of Christ, you know. If a girl sees your fine self, right? <clears throat> right? You're cute. You're handsome, right? Thank you. If, if a, thank you. I try. If a woman is really in love with you, right? What make, but how do you know? You can't, you can't know. You can't know if she did it because you're not. And that's the part that I have a hard time juggling with in my brain. I, I, I would struggle with that, you know? And I just don't think it's fair to them or to you to do that. And I think that you are impeding a pain and a, and a kind of a, not a crutch, but like a weight on yourself that's not needed. Yeah. Like, you don't need to, you don't need to exert yourself <laughs> that much. I'm like, not like, bro, I feel like you be pouring into an empty cup. Like, you just going to be like. And we dated women that aren't faithful. So we could, and we dated women that were open. We dated women that, that came to Christ. Where are they now? The date, the date, I'm not married to him. He's not dating them. What happened to like, Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's nah, not good. That's off air conversation. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know they why. Yeah. I can say it, but uh, so let's see if I'm off. But yeah, but bro, but like, um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, there's so many caveats to the, you, bro. If you want one that's open, let, let me know, and I, 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 and you can experience it. I will find you one, and we will record every second let's of the relationship. Let's do it. Yo, we should have him do a uh, a blind date but, 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 but they're not Christian. So you can see no and, and giant no, job no, is gonna no say, blindness. Oh my god, this is terrible. I cannot yeah, do no. it. Can all right, but can we get back to the question? Like, why is Christian dating cringy? Okay, let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's get right. like because we've been doing a lot of nose yeah, for you, yeah. but like let's like all right, yeah, yeah, sorry. It's been Jonathan's therapy session. Sorry, right. guys. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, so my therapy session. So what, what was the question? <clears throat> what we were saying, what makes um Christian dating cringy? Like, why can't it be cringy at times? Why can't it? Yeah, because we were there and it was like, <clears throat> did it all. Yeah, I mean, Christian eating can just get cringy because, like, you both are trying to follow Jesus, but, but at the same time, be, be able to express your feelings and emotions, and that's, and that's hard to do it in a non-worldly way, and it can come off as corny or weird. Not to mention that, you know, you got to set a lot of barriers in between your lives, which also can come off as cringy. Mm. What do you think? Wait, how do you mean? Like, share, you can't share emotions? You can, but... Those emotions can get strong. That's the point, man. You gotta like develop chemistry, but like, I mean, of course, that have boundaries. I yeah. mean, it's different for everybody. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 it's different for everybody. But everyone, I say, everyone has their own limits, you know. But, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro, this is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Come on, get up. <laughs> the, uh, the, face, <laughs> the face of a central podcast has collapsed to the ground. Oh my gosh. I hate you guys. Um, I'm sorry. I, no, I'm not saying like you can have sex. No, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, like, yeah. Some people like can like take can cuddle <laughs> in dating. Some other people can't. That's what I mean with limits. Like. I don't really have an answer for why it's crazy. Do you cuddle? I was, I was gonna ask that. I was, I was gonna ask, like, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh my god. For some people, like, yeah, I guess they're. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's important to develop a spark, though, if you're gonna talk to <laughs> What kind of spark are you talking about? Like, 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 that's a. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's, move, I don't know. Let's, let's move on. Yeah. You, you know what I mean, though. I ain't like. <laughs> I'll see why he's single, bro. I get it. I'll that to my bro. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> no, like, at least, like, you need to be, you need to be compatible, but. Compatibility. Yeah, compatibility. Oh my gosh. Are you talking about, like, flowers and stuff like that when you say spark? No. No, no, I mean, like, like oh, the, the emotion, like I know emotion isn't important, like feelings, but like it, it's still, it's like. Oh, by the way, we, keep all this tape. You right? still need don't it. Cut any of it. I, huh? Don't cut anything. Don't cut. No, no, cut the the fat girl joke, but. but nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not cutting but, that. But, I'm do not cut the, that. The, but do not cut the laughing. It makes it personal. <clears throat> okay, so um, all right, let's just let me stop playing around. So yeah, um, but this is where I want to go with this. Is where I kind of, I kind of wanted to go with this. Combo. So the real question is, is 
Is true love attainable? I can't take this seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Up, I, I don't know. I don't, it's just, this whole thing is just He's uncomfortable. That's why he get uncomfortable. It's nah, I, I'm not I, uncomfortable. I like uncomfortable. Nah. This is my question. He's about to cry. Look at his nah. eyes. He's probably no, crying it's, laughing. It's funny, yeah. Yeah, but all right. So, so I think I think what the question I'm trying to ask you guys is, is that, um, like, <laughs> is, um, oh, Frank, I'm trying to put it in words. Okay, okay, I got it. So... We all agree, because the one point I was trying to make turn to a 30-minute conversation, we all agree that you need to be equally yoked to the person that you're with, correct? Mm -hmm. Don't even answer that question. Yes? yes. Okay, yes. Okay. so he yes, believes that we yes, need to be yes, equally yes. yoked. Okay, deal. Now, the next part is this, okay? Now that we're equally yoked, what is next after being equally yoked? You, you have awkward, cringy dates. You get to know the person, correct? You fall in love, or you go on dates, you take them out, you, you spend all your money. That's the way it goes the first three yeah. months. Uh, and then, after that, you get engaged, yeah. then you get married, then kids, then for, you're for, old and you for die. The, for, the mo for the most part, bro. Um, or, you can go, or you can be like Solomon, dude. Yeah, like, well, I mean, most, not, not every, like I'm saying like this is like a broad range, but like most people who meet that person, like they want to get like married as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, yeah, because they when you're a Christian, you know, and you, you gotta well, in order like, it's to on a spiritual level. But, but do you yeah. even do you even think that we are <clears throat> operating in more of the creative order when we don't date for a long time and get married? Can you repeat the question? Okay. <laughs> I know I was a good I, I, Do you think that we are operating out like more in the creative order when we date for like two weeks and get married? Two weeks? Or, or, like, or whatever the short time is. Like, <clears throat> are we, because like, think about this Adam and Eve, and that was it. Well, that's different because they would like. <clears throat> they, and even in the, the biblical times, like, like, no one really dated. Like, are we operating more in, in the creative order when we, when we operate? Well, that it, it, back then. <clears throat> like the the father would would assign a girl to to like a, a man. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just, just I, a question. Yeah, like like, like was that a just, cultural thing or was it a Christ thing? I'm, no, I'm, I'm not sure, but I mean, I, I feel like dating does create problems because you um. Like you have options, you know. But do you, if it doesn't work, you can just always go to. Do your you also option. think that we are inadvertently like learning too much before marriage? Well, yeah. I mean, look at all the movies mm -hmm. I and agree. sex scenes and stuff. No, and no. Like, I mean, like guys like, are no, 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 no. more exposed to things now. I don't. I don't mean it from that angle, bro. <clears throat> I'm saying like, if 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 like the because the Bible speaks clearly on marriage. The Bible doesn't talk about dating at all. I'm saying, do you think that we are learning too much about the person before marriage? Like, do you think that a lot of these things that we experience oh. in dating are like, do, like, do you think I they're see. supposed to be experienced in marriage? Because dating was never a thing. The Bible doesn't talk about it. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. But like, but but wasn't Joseph <clears throat> and Mary? Were they dating? They they weren't married. They were like they were like a couple. They were like dating. That's why well, we have Google. And then and then and then Joseph married. Mary, because you know, a Mary date. You saying? You said yeah, did Joseph and Mary? Yeah, date? yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. They were. They were a couple. Like they were talking, but they they weren't married. They were engaged, not not dating. Oh, they were engaged. Yeah, in Matthew one verse sixteen, Joseph. <clears throat> well, they said it is probable that that they were betrothed. They weren't married yet. Well, that I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it says that in in the custom of that day, dating was equal to like engagement, being engaged. Yeah, well, mm. I I mean, but they're engaged. But you, but you know how they, I mean they were not engaged for a long, they're engaged for like two weeks, bro, a day. Yeah, well, I mean, that's because he had a marry. <clears throat> because if if he didn't marry Mary, she would have gotten stoned mm -hmm. because she was pregnant without a significant. Yeah, illness. well, I mean, I've known couples who got married within a week. I know. Some who got married within a month or two, and they're still together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still together. I oh, mean, yeah. I I just think my, my thing about it is like the two people that are like 
you're just like on a like you're spiritually in love like you're so in love with the person spiritually and just in love like you want to get married as soon as possible yeah do you also think that like and this one when my parents really got on my nerves is that like they wanted me to wait so long to get married like do you think that like our society has it not society do you think that christians have it wrong by making people wait so long to get married rather than getting married quickly like because in my opinion and i'm a very opinionated i think that we should, <clears throat> like i believe that you know obviously times are going to change but I, I do think that we should be getting married as quickly as possible as in not as you're forcing it but when if you think you met the person then do it <clears throat> like I, th I i believe that there shouldn't be so many stipulations to marriage yeah like but uh, but I, but I also do get why people want to wait long because of the way that our society views marriage T today. Like, there are even a lot of Christians and even pastors that have been divorced. There are a lot of Christians that, that have been through five or six marriages. And I think that's also an issue because I do think that a lot of churches don't... Uh, this, might sound, this might sound really bad. A lot of churches allow a lot of marriages to be divorced over belief systems and i don't think that's okay because the bible even the bible speaks on that it says like even if you're married to someone that is not of the faith you are to be married with them and even and even if you if you divorce god still sees that person as your wife or husband and, and dies god right so so you can be unequal yoke hmm? so you can be unequal <clears throat> well god says like if you already married someone that's not a christian then you have to stay with them like the, the word speak clearly on that but my question is is that like do you think that do you think that the church like allows people to just divorce and marry so like willy-nilly like because that that's kind of my my take is that like i don't think there's a lot of heavy vetting in premarital stuff because in my opinion like i like I'm all for getting married quickly, like I just said, but I also do think that the premarital vetting st uh, status should be super hard because to me, it seems because and this from me being married, regardless of how long you've been together, like you're still going to see new parts of that person. So what is the difference between two months, two to six months and a year? It just depends on the circumstance of the person. Well, I, I understand if. <laughs> If they don't have a lot of money saved and they want to be able to, you know, yeah. save money before they get married because they want to have a wedding and they want to be able to buy a, at least an apartment. Um, yeah. But it just depends. I see that as a reason why. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. But I'm talking more about like, <clears throat> like, prime example, right? Let's say like your parents, right? Because mm -hmm. they, cause they dated for a minute before that they got married, right? So like, I'm saying like, in that situation, right? Because our society has put so much to do on marriage, it's hard for couples that have dated for that long to kind of make that happen because there's so much weddings and all this. Whereas if it were just simpler, do you think people would, would be getting married quicker where if it was like just you, 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 you sign a paper that that's it? Like if our society didn't promote like the crazy, the weddings and all that, do you think that people would be getting married more? And do you think divorces would be less? Because now we're taking away all the flashy stuff and it's just the actual concept of marriage yeah. in the Christian space. Yeah, in that way, if you, the way you put it. <clears> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> he just said idiot, bro. You gonna look at me. Just cut that, bro. Just cut that. <laughs> can't, I can't. No, don't come Can we just do a blooper? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Just bloopers. No, no, no. Just, just just, put it all in the episode because it's going to make it look like organic and funny. Yeah, and it's <clears> yeah. create more, less work on me. Yeah, exactly. So, here's my, all right, so here's my next question to you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. So, tell me your ideal woman, all right? Like, you obviously <clears> want to <throat> describe it. Well, this is more for you. What my, do you, yeah, I, so what I, do you want... In a woman, like what, what, do, what do I want? Yeah, other than not say we we already know you want a woman that's not that that that, that doesn't know God. So break down your mm -hmm. ideal woman, Johnny. Uh, woman, listen up. I just wanted to be hot. Hot. Yeah, that's it. Honest, open. <laughs> Are you? Trying? Yeah, you know what I said? I'm sorry. You know what I said? I said. 
Do you mean honest, open, and transparent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, those three exactly characteristics that I'm looking for. Yep. No, I um, I just wanted to be independent. You know, I wanted to have goals, and I just want her to just like be honest. Yeah, like if she loves Jesus, awesome. You know, even better. Um, if she doesn't. But if she's willing, you know, I mean, that's fine too. But I think the most important thing is that, you know, we, you know, she's honest about her love, you know, like if she loves me for me, that, that's all I, I really want. Okay. So do you think that, <clears throat> so do you think that you're doing anything wrong in the process of meeting a woman, and this is where, like, me and you had a short conversation about this, but do you think that, like, there's something that you're doing wrong in this process that, that, yeah, that you well, could work I on? I mean, yeah, I think I think what you're saying, I, I can't be, I shouldn't be looking outside of the face. Yeah. I think that might be it. Yeah, I think so too, John. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of it. No, but, um, but, like, I mean, I... Uh, I, I, I still feel like even in the faith you encounter stuff, but yeah. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> As I said, bro, I just because it's a culture thing, like the whole dating and the yeah. way love is being viewed in the modern age. It it's not just a worldly thing. Like this is just the age of that we live in. Yeah. No, but I even think there no, are. Hold on, hold on, nah. I I know you say that, but. When you, <laughs> nah, but when I'm saying, bro, when you meet someone that like their life is surrounded by Christ, bro, like that don't mean anything. Like the whole worldly thing and like worldly, like the way world shaped it, it's not like that. From from my POV, I respect that. I understand it because I don't think, yeah. Yeah, dude, I I just feel like, and I I agree with that, Ray. I just think that. <clears throat> excuse me. Dating is hard, man. It's like, I, I, I say this all the time. I'm glad that I got, got Emily, the one with the one I did, man, because would have been, it's just a hard game to play. It's a hard game to play. And if the thing is, like, when you find that person that works, it's going to work, you know, and you just got to keep going at it until it's the perfect thing. Like, um, I have the saying in, in my brain that, like, I needed someone that can understand the vision, that can understand my goals, <clears throat> excuse me, and be able to back themselves, like, into that, you know? Like, for me personally, like, I needed a woman that wants to do ministry with me. You know, like, there's, just, there's certain things that you have to look for that's specific to just <clears throat> you, you know? And I think for you, <clears throat> I think you need a woman that's able to pick up and go. Cause what, what what do you mean pick up and go? You just don't know where the movie film business is going to take you, right? So if you gotta go to Hawaii, she gotta be able to say, all right, cool. Then we move it to Hawaii. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's <clears> not <throat> a whole lot of people like that, that's for sure. Yeah, bro. But yeah, you know what? I'm glad you, you reminded me. I I really like that mindset of not knowing of what the future is going to bring. I, I want somebody to be like running with that mindset that the future is just a mysterious place and, and you know, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring and that's okay. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and here's the thing, bro, you're not going to know, but <clears throat> the good thing about it is that when you have someone that believes in Jesus with you and when you have someone that's in tune with the Holy Spirit and that's praying to God the same as you are, Praying for you too. Praying for you. They can help discern certain situations as well. You know, it's just, it's just when you have someone that's the next to you that, that that loves God, it's it's different, bro. As I said, I also do think that within the church, I think the main, I think one one of the main issues, and this from talking to a lot of women about dating, is that I do think that a lot of people want to. They set their expectations a little too high for men. So a lot of men get curved by Christian women because they have unreachable standards. Yeah. Equally so, I think men also are just men and we just, a lot of men don't think highly of themselves. 
<clears throat> or not to mention, you know, there are a lot of single moms out there and stuff like that. A lot of men don't know how to treat a woman. And this is where I think discipleship comes into play. This is why we need men in the church to be able to teach other men about, you know, about how how to treat a woman. Same thing with women. Women should be teaching other women how to treat men, you know. And I do think that through small groups, you build those kind of friendships and relationships. And I think that when you get into a Christian community or a small group, group I think that's those are one of the best ways to understand how like women yeah. work as well. You know, rather than doing my way of just friending, befriending a bunch of females randomly, like that was kind of weird. But like, there's other opportunities like small groups and like life groups and being in bands. Like, there are ways that you can get to know Christian females. You know, it's just a matter of do you know how to treat them? You know, and also like finding a woman that <clears throat> her standards like aren't unreachable for the man. Because I, I I do think in Christian dating and I dealt with that. That was like a big problem. It's like. The woman's expecting me to be freaking Paul, like, like yo, like I'm only nineteen, like, <laughs> like dude, I just found out what deodorant was like three years ago. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Any comments? Um, yeah, I agree. With um, I think, yeah, I think one of the things that uh can be cringy about Christian dating is like it could be a level and a standard that's like way too high. Like, not thinking of someone as like a. A savior, but like they want them to like almost <clears throat> be darn near perfect way. When that's like, it's the end of the day, like someone's still gonna be themselves and make mistakes. Yeah, man. So that's, I, I think that's the true battle is finding find some, somebody normal. Yes, because Christians are weird. And it's just the reality. They're all weird. We're all weird. So, and you're weird too. So don't think that you're like, you know, the diamond in the rough, dude. You're just weird. I love you though. I'm weird. You know, we'll talk about that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, man, I think I think that's the true, <clears throat> the true test in relations. But <clears throat> as I said, God will bring the right person in your life. It's just your it's just yeah. your choice to figure out what you're going to do with it. Don't fumble the bag. Do you think you will fumble the bag? I always fumble the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you always fumble the bag? Sometimes when you want to learn how to fly, you got to learn how to fall. Dude, you're right. And let me tell you, I've fallen hundreds of times. But the right one comes. The right one will come, man. You just got to keep the faith. And to all you listeners out Why there. Why is this about me, man? This is your therapy session, man. <laughs> to all the listeners out there, you will find the right one. And ladies, now, ladies, <laughs> if you were single, Stop. 18 and over, this guy right here wants your number, all right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's, um, but seriously though, what I'm saying is like, you really got to be able to like to set a standard for yourself though too, you know what I mean? Yeah. Know what you're worth. take anybody. Cause some Christian girls be dusty. <laughs> I'm being honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm, t- I'm telling you. There'll be some dusty you Christian chicks. You guys got to like really like... Um, elaborate what you mean by these things. Dusty? You know? like, when I say dusty, like... They just like are not like dateable. Like there's some Christian women that will be single forever. They're undateable. Give us, give us, give us a story. Like, like the the girl that. An example would be just a Christian girl that's toxic. Like okay. that is mean, rude. Like not happy, and they try to make you love to a center that you're not able to reach because you're not God. Or try to flex their. Uh... Christianity. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of women don't understand, like, men are going to be men. Like, we aren't going to understand you 99% of the time. Like, this is what being a man is, bro. Like, you think I forget a lot of, like, I know with me, me, I'm like, sometimes you think that I can read your mind. Honey, I can't read your mind. It's impossible. You know? There are times where I do a lot of things that she wants me, me to do, but I don't do it. Because <laughs> I don't feel like it, you know? And that's wrong of me, me, me to do, but, like, she do- also doesn't understand, like, yo, like, Steve, this is just how men work and act. No matter what. So she holds me accountable. No matter what. I love you, man. <laughs> I always love you, man. I'll you, bro. But we need to find your wife. Though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <Like> because. <laughs> what the? Because <laughs> you've been tripping lately, and well, we gotta have a talk about this. Okay. But yeah, you know, I'm joking. But yeah, so guys, we're gonna end this episode here. 
<laughs> this would be the funniest episode we've ever done. Oh my god. The title it. Yeah, Jonathan's the therapy session. What episode is this? Uh, nine? nine. Dang, we're almost at ten episodes. So yeah, guys. So been, yeah, so this, shut up. All right, so this is this is our episode, guys. Please like and subscribe below. Um, we're so yeah. Just please like and, and subscribe below. We love you guys, and you know, just keep it going, keep liking, keep watching our videos. We got so many great episodes. So just keep watching it and peace out. That was a funny episode, dude. Yeah.